Lance Wackley in The Legend of the Red Bearded Yankee Written by Iron Man and read by Little Nicky Lance Wackley, that noble American, set foot in the heathen land of India, that awful place, much like Latin America, poor and dirty, but it lacked homemade Taco Bell meals and quality whores with great fake tits. I would be lying if I told you the American did not feel his courage vanish when he entered the airport and came into contact with the people. He was no coward for sure, the evidence had been proven by now, but it was a natural reaction to those that travel into foreign lands. Small little busy creatures stared at him from below. Lance was average in height where he came from, but here a biological defect stagnated the population's growth and they remained as tall as children. By his side remained the little air flight angel, a cute little thing with bright brown eyes, brunette hair and white skin. She was determined to profit from our hero's promise in the plane. In hindsight, Wackley believed he had offered too much, but he had that disgusting need for cunt that drives men to their doom. Her name was Kelly, a dull common name for sure, but the passions it stirred in him were not ordinary. She had a wild look in her eyes, fox-like. Wackily being the engineer he is, had the drive to understand her mind. He lacked the social skills to know by now that there is nothing logical inside a woman's skull. Lance made his way to the restroom, with the intention of taking a piss and changing his shit-stained shorts. To his surprise, he finds a row of naked men squatting, as if in the woods, in the spaces that should have been reserved for toilet seats. No, my friends, not in India. Not only do they worship a god with female breasts and male genitals, but they shit in little marble-covered holes in the ground. Wackley stared, stupefied. They seemed like monkeys. One of those parodies where they dress them up in clothes. The comedy of it soon ceased as he came to realise that there was no privacy and he would have to undress in public. It had been one thing to exhibit himself at the airport. There had been no direct contact with the viewer. It was some bored, stupid public worker in front of a screen wasting its pathetic existence for a three-digit paycheck. Here he would have to confront the looks, the stares at his white, hairy body as he struggles to cover himself while changing his underwear. This might seem odd, that one man so superior to the rest had shame for his physical exposure. But such is the custom in America, not to reveal the body, even between men. He remembers his shorts are covered with shit. He's not about to risk his first impression with the New Delhi branch. His fear of being known as the American who shit his pants in the corporation was greater than showing his genitals to the gentlemen squatting around him. He takes out his clean pants from his backpack, takes a deep breath and pulls down his pants. In the rush to be quick, he becomes uncoordinated. The men turn their heads looking at this joker, but the attraction is his yellow pubic hairs. They point and laugh while Wackily is fighting not to lose his balance, standing barefoot on top of his shoes, not wanting to step on the filthy ground. The poor soul believes that they're mocking his small penis. He runs out of there in a hurry. The thoughts of washing his shorts are gone. Kelly, his in-flight angel, notices the loud laughter coming from the bathroom. Wackily rushes out in a hurry, not looking back. She asks what happened in there and walking off to meet his fellow employees, he says nothing.